Hello friends. Welcome again to Stitch Max demonstration part 6. In the last part, we learned about the effects and arrangements. In this part, we will learn about punching methods and how to do them in a better way. And also see some additional features provided with punching methods. In the last part, we saw that we have made this arrangement but this all objects are individual as their punching is pending they have not attached to the line fill anywhere there is a feature to auto punch them just select the entire line along with the objects and press control plus j or you can press the punching button just give your start point an end point and the program will auto punch you can see that the applied punching is proper and perfectly done it has punched according to the start and end point in the auto punching method there is grouping done among the selected objects selected objects will be grouped before punching now let's undo this punching and look at another method for punching we saw that with control plus j grouping functions now let's undo this run and use double run if we select this arrangement and press control plus r then the program will punch automatically but with a slight change in its method this is punched in the normal manner it punched all the objects while going away from the start point and then making a written line back to the start but the objects here have not been grouped they are all separate so that they can be edited or removed as per your requirement so now we undo the punching by pressing control plus z we will select everything and press control plus shift plus r all these shortcut buttons are provided here like is control plus r and control plus shift plus r mentioned the punching is done in the same manner however the only difference here is that the line is getting completed first from start to end and while coming back punches the objects on the way back the earlier one is punched from the front side while this is from the back this concludes auto punching methods now let's work without arrangements and learn manual punching method now you are working on any line now we select a point on the line and at the same the movement press w the object will get punched to that point on the line now if you want to duplicate the object just press control and drag the object bring it in position and press w to attach it to the line if you want to merge the object to a point select the duplicated object press shift plus w this will fix the object to the start point and will merge it to that point it will be punched there so these are all manual methods there is an advanced method if your object is fixed and you want to arrange the same object ahead then select use as attachment this will enable pencil mode where you can set the direction or orientation of the object in a single click move ahead click and set direction and keep moving ahead it will punch from whatever point you have selected we have selected a point on the leaf now we click for direction set the position and leave it on pressing escape the program will come out of this mode after punching the selection this objects will also remain separate and not grouped so this concludes the punching methods
Let us see the star fill. Star fill is a great fill to generate pagdi stitch and mirror stitch as soon as you draw. You can open the star fill properties and change the density and stitch spacing, increase or decrease it. I have increased it here. Whatever shape you make, the program will immediately apply a pagdi stitch. To make a mirror ring, we usually make a round shape using the star fill option, which creates a star. Now, we got to convert it into a mirror ring. First, let's make the star 10 into 10 sizes. To make this into a mirror ring, we need to adjust the star offset value. So let's give the values for density or stitch spacing and star offset. We can control the width of the ring using star offset value. This were the star and pagdi stitches which are a great stitch type. Now let's go beyond this. If you work in a chain or coding, we have provided a different fill type which can be accessed from star fill itself. In advanced parameters for star fill, we have an option called plasma fill. Enabling this, you will observe the program will generate a filled object suitable for chain or coding. The gaps between the stitches can be adjusted by changing the stitch spacing value in the properties. You can also adjust the travel length of the run. For this, an option is provided in advanced parameters. Here, we are giving stitch length as 2 mm. So, its run length became 2 mm. You can also change how the routing takes place. For example, here it is rooting from inside out. To reverse this, simply uncheck Auto Reserve Fill and it will start rooting from outside in. The working direction is clockwise manner here. If we select the option Reserve Input Points, the clockwise rooting will change to anti-clockwise routing. This makes it a great object for a chain or coding. There are various options given here. For example, if we want jalebi turn stitches, that is, if we don't want the curve with short angle, we can enable Jalebi Turn Stitches from Star Fill Advanced Parameters. Now, the routing will happen in a Jalebi style, from outside to inside. It will complete the run and return. In this, if you select Auto Reserve Fill, it will go inside from where it starts moving outside, making the Jalebi Stitch. This makes it a great object, especially for coding as short angles are avoided. These are the basic parameters which we saw. Besides this, there are several other options like, suppose you want to cut your object from anywhere. Draw a shape on the existing object, then select both shapes as press Control plus W. It will create a hole of the shape you made in the bigger existing one. Let's take two objects here instead of one.
select both the objects. Press Ctrl plus W. Hold shape like your object will remain and the routing around the holes will be adjusted automatically. This will reset the routing and remove the tracking. This is the plasma fill which is great for coding and Nuri work. Next, we will look into some properties of sequin. Here, we have taken a line fill. After this, we will directly click on the sequin button to enable the sequin. There are some fantastic options provided in sequin. Just go into the properties of sequin. Here, currently we have skipped zero sequence. If we select one, it will skip a point for each sequin. If we select two, it will skip two points. Here, even if you enlarge or shrink the object, the program will automatically adjust sequins. You won't have to manually add any sequins for this. You can also change the style of the sequins. If you want a hanging sequin, here you have set the stitch length in line properties and selected the style as hanging sequin. Here the hanging sequin which you make using triple run. That object has become ready in front of you. In this, if you want to use backtrack, reserve style is also available. Here you have used a starting and ending. For this, you can reverse the hanging style by selecting hang in sequin reverse. This are the basic properties of sequin. Inside a basic sequin, you can also place a filled object like how we are making one here. We are using E stitch for this object. Apply the stitch length and other parameters. If you want to select normal hanging sequin, you can select the style from here. While coming back, we can select the river style in E fill. Enable the sequin and you will notice the filled object is ready in front of you with the sequins. If you do not want horizontally but vertically hanging sequin, there is an option provided for that as well. The Lutkan sequin style is given here. You can select it. See how the object is ready here with vertical Lutkan sequins. If you reshape, shrink or expand the object, it will not affect the sequin. The sequin will get added or removed accordingly. Whether you make it smaller, larger or rotated, even if you add copies, the sequins will remain the same. It will get managed and auto-completed. These are the properties of single sequin coding and chain at a newer level. They can be used in any way as desired. Next, we will see the four sequin and twin sequin features in our next demonstration. Thank you and stay tuned for our next demonstration.